I'm going to start off with a, a poem about my son who um, is 19 and he's in a rock and roll band and uh, a couple of summers ago he had a lot of friends over with all their equipment and it got a bit tiresome so I started to write this poem as a way of complaining about it but it went in a quite unexpected direction. It's called Rock and Roll Mama. <laughs> They've skinned up, chilled, unpacked their sleeping bags and dirty shirts. They've used up all the mugs and scoffed our hard-earned bread. They've blocked the stairs with piles of giant shoes. The dizzy air's well hammered. This is rock and roll. Guitars propped against walls like casual strangers. Vast monoliths of amps, hard riffs and licks. The slick of sweat and beer, the scent of sex. I wonder if they'll let me in to watch the dawn. Am I condemned to be some Mrs. Robinson, but fatter, hiding in my pantry with my garters and my cupcakes? Me? I knew it once. I still know it. The crash and roar, mud, rhythm, skin, no lull, no hush. I'll try for ecstasy. I'll build the fire. You think I'll give in to crimpling, retire to bridge and chamomile? No fucking chance. My acid days are done, but watch me dance. Um, I think uh, one of the most difficult things about bringing up children, and I've got four, is allowing them to keep their innocence, but at the same time preparing them to live in the world. Um, and that's what this poem's about. The boy who flew in his sleep. Some nights, my children will not sleep. They fear weightlessness, the madness of the sandman, the map a mind might draw when left to wander, the sharp turn of a dream, the hot patter of falling stars. I comfort them with warm milk, carry them to my bed, tell them the story of this mattress, fibres conjured by engineers to hold an astronaut amid the turmoil of incomprehensible space. I watch them sleep beyond my gravity, the flicker of small eyes under private paper lids. I think of a boy I knew who walked in his sleep, whose wish for wings, the story goes, led him to the roof and over the edge. I swear he's still afloat the way his dream foretold beside that fifth floor window the breeze rocking him like a cradle. Sometimes I think it's really him. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. <laughs>